Have you ever considered how the simple act of cooking can be a form of mindfulness? Picture this. You're in your kitchen, surrounded by an array of colorful ingredients. As you begin to prepare your meal, you find yourself becoming more aware of the textures, the smells, and the sounds that envelop you. This, my friends, is the art of mindful cooking. Mindful cooking is more than just a way to prepare food. It's an experience that allows us to connect with our senses and be fully present in the moment. It's about appreciating the journey, not just the destination. It's about savoring each slice, each stir, each simmer. It's about connecting with the food we eat and understanding how it nourishes our body. In the rush and bustle of everyday life, mindful cooking offers a moment of calm, a space for reflection. Today, we will journey into the world of mindful cooking and together, prepare a simple, nutritious meal. Before we begin, ensure your kitchen is a calm and inviting space. The environment you cook in greatly influences your ability to be mindful and present. A clean, well-organized kitchen invites serenity and focus, allowing you to fully immerse in the cooking experience. Imagine the difference between a cluttered, chaotic kitchen and a neat, orderly one. In which would you rather cook? Take a moment to tidy up your kitchen. Put away dishes, clear the countertops, and organize your cooking utensils. This isn't just about cleanliness, it's about creating a space that enhances your focus and reduces distractions. Remember, this isn't a race. Take your time, enjoy the process. Feel the satisfaction of cleaning your workspace. Notice the textures, the sounds, the colors. Let this simple act of preparation become a part of your mindful cooking journey. With our kitchen now ready, we can begin the process of mindful cooking. The first step in mindful cooking involves the careful selection of our ingredients. Choosing the right ingredients is like casting the main characters for our culinary play. Freshness, quality, and source, these are the three pillars that guide our selection. Picture yourself in a bustling farmer's market. The air is filled with the aroma of earth, ripe fruits, and the subtle scent of fresh herbs. This is where our journey begins. Let's start with vegetables. Pick them up, feel their weight, their texture. Look for vivid colors and firm flesh. This is the sign of freshness. A fresh vegetable not only adds vibrant colors to our plate but also brings a burst of nutrients and flavors. Next, we turn to proteins. Whether it's a piece of fish, chicken, tofu, or beans, we want to ensure it's of high quality. This might mean choosing wild-caught fish, free-range chicken, organic tofu, or locally grown beans. Remember, the quality of our ingredients directly influences the taste and nutritional value of our meal. Now let's talk about grains. Whole grains like brown rice, quinoa, or millet are packed with fiber and keep us feeling full longer. When possible, opt for organic and locally sourced grains to support sustainable farming practices. Lastly, we select our herbs and spices. These are the supporting actors, adding depth and complexity to our dishes. Fresh herbs like basil, rosemary, or mint bring a refreshing note, while spices like turmeric, cumin, or paprika add warmth and richness. Understanding where our food comes from is an integral part of mindful cooking. It helps us appreciate the journey each ingredient has taken from the farm to our kitchen. This connection deepens our relationship with food, making each bite more meaningful. Choosing ingredients mindfully is not just about selecting the best for our body, but also about respecting the earth and the hard work of farmers who grow our food. Now that we've chosen our ingredients with care and attention, we're ready to start cooking. Now, we immerse ourselves in the act of cooking, being fully present in each and every moment. Let's start by chopping our ingredients. Feel the weight of the knife in your hand, its cool metal handle grounding you in the here and now. Listen to the rhythmic, satisfying crunch as the blade slices through the fresh vegetables. Notice the vibrant colors as they are revealed, the deep purples, the fiery reds, the calming greens, each ingredient a masterpiece of nature, now becoming a part of our creation. As we move on to the cooking, pay attention to the transformation occurring before you. The sizzling sound as the vegetables hit the hot pan is music to our ears. It's the symphony of flavors coming together, the prelude to the delicious meal we are about to enjoy. Take a moment to appreciate the aroma wafting through the air, the sharp tanginess of the garlic, the earthy sweetness of the onions, the refreshing scent of the herbs. Each smell is a note in the melody of our meal, adding depth and dimension to the experience. Let's turn our focus to the tactile sensations, the smoothness of the wooden spoon as you stir, the heat radiating from the stove, the steam dancing up to meet your face. These are the tangible elements of cooking that often go unnoticed, yet they contribute so much to our overall experience. As we add the spices, notice how they change the dish. The color deepens, 
the aroma becomes more complex, and the anticipation builds. Each spice is a story, a journey from a far-off land to our kitchen, enriching our meal with its unique properties. Finally, we come to the simmering. This is a time for patience, for allowing the flavors to meld and the ingredients to become tender. It's a gentle reminder that good things come to those who wait, and that sometimes the journey can be just as enjoyable as the destination. As we near the end of our cooking process, take a moment to reflect. Look at the meal you've created, the product of your mindfulness and attentiveness. Feel the sense of accomplishment, knowing that you've nourished not just your body, but also your soul. With our meal now prepared, it's time for the final step. The final step in mindful cooking isn't the cooking itself, but the eating. It's here where we truly reap the fruits of our labor. Eating mindfully is an art in itself. It's about fully immersing yourself in the experience, savoring each bite and appreciating the symphony of flavors dancing on your palate. When you take your first bite, close your eyes, feel the texture of the food, the warmth, the crunch, or the smoothness. Let the flavors unravel slowly and take note of each one. Is it sweet, savory, spicy, or a delightful mix of all? Engage all your senses. Listen to the sounds of the food as you chew. Smell the aroma wafting up from your plate. Eating slowly is key to mindful eating. By slowing down you not only savor the flavors more but you also aid your digestion and feel satisfied with less. It's about quality, not quantity. Being fully present in the experience also means appreciating the meal in front of you. Remember the effort you put into selecting the best ingredients, the care you took in preparing them and the time you spent cooking. This isn't just food, it's a labor of love, a nourishing gift that you have given yourself. And there you have it, a simple, nutritious meal prepared with mindfulness and enjoyed with gratitude. As we conclude our journey into mindful cooking, let's reflect on what we've learned. We've seen how this practice is more than just preparing a meal. It's a chance to connect with our senses, our ingredients, and ourselves. It's about setting the stage with intention, choosing ingredients with care, and immersing ourselves in the cooking process, every chop, stir, and sizzle. We've learned that mindful cooking is about savoring every bite, appreciating the nutrients that fuel our bodies, and the effort that went into creating the meal. It's about understanding that our meals are not just about sustenance, but also about connection, gratitude, and joy. The power of mindful cooking is in its simplicity. It's a practice we can incorporate into our daily lives, transforming the mundane into the meaningful. Remember, every meal you prepare is an opportunity to nourish not just your body, but your soul as well. Until next time, keep cooking with mindfulness and joy.